Hi all, this is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your WordPress websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into today's video. In this video, I'll show you how to add this show hide or collapsible text area in WordPress using Elementor and a plugin for it called Jetrix. You can either get it as a part of CrocBlock package or you can buy it as a separate plugin. I'll leave a link to that in the description. They also have a Halloween sale going on. So I'll leave a link with all the details in the description. Make sure to check out the description. So precisely we're going to achieve this in which we'll have a block of text which the user can click to show or hide. But even better, we'll create a post template. If you have Elementor Pro, you can even create a post template so that the post content can be made collapsible by the user. Let's get into it and see how it's done. So there are two basic widgets in the croc block jetrix plugin the first one is read more so when the user clicks on read more the content within this is hidden so let's say i have two sections and i want to hide this section unless and until user clicks on this read more button i just click on this section give it an id i put the same id under this if i want to hide more sections i'll just duplicate this add another id so it's that easy so the first section which is hidden by this read more button is actually grayed out in the preview. You can update it and preview it so that you can see how that looks like. So on the front end, you just see a portion of this. As you can see here, I can see only the title and a little bit of what this section has to offer. When I click on read more button, now the section is completely visible. That's one neat trick that you get with the Jetrix plugin. And the second thing is the unfold widget. Just type for unfold. It's this one. So this can be used to toggle the content within so it's available as a separate widget within the Elementor interface so there are a lot of settings available for this unfold widget by Jetrix so the first one is the default appearance when the page loads so you can either choose to fold or unfold if you toggle this on then the text will be visible if you turn off this toggle only a portion of the text will be visible so the user should first click to view it instead of rather showing it straight away so that's the first thing here you can customize the height of the section visible. It's in pixels and you can set separate heights per device. Let's set 20 and see how much of the text is visible. And as you can see, I can only see the first parag first line of text here because I set the height to 20. Here you can preview the or change the animations while unfolding. Unfolding is while showing the content. Folding is while hiding the content or making it compact. So you can change the different types of easing and also pick the duration of easing for folding and unfolding within content you can obviously change your content and the cool thing about this is that you can link it to dynamic fields so when you click on it you have a lot of dynamic fields to choose from and you can link to any of them and you can also customize the button I'd actually customize the buttons icon because it's kind of misleading what it's doing so show should have the arrow facing down and hide should have arrow facing up it's actually the other way around so let's change and within the style tab you now have the typical settings that you would find in any element of widget such as changing the background color border type box shadow and all that stuff i'm not going to go through this because it's pretty straightforward so this is the unfold content how about using this in actual real life scenarios? So how about using this as a part of a post template? So if you have Elementor Pro, you know that you can use the theme builder to create your own template for your page post or custom post type, your archives and more. So I'm going to actually create a template for single post type. Let's call it Jetrix template in which we'll use a little bit of Elementor and then We'll use the unfold widget by Jetrix and I'll show you how you can create the cool collapsible text post content just by using Jetrix and Elementor Pro. You need to have Elementor Pro for this. So remember that theme builder is a part of Elementor Pro. I'll just click on it. For the sake of this video, I'll actually use this template which came as a part of digital agency side kit. I'll click on it. I'll use it just to show you things around. As you can see, this is my post title, this is my excerpt, and this is my post content. 
So within your Gutenberg interface, whatever you add other than your title and excerpt is all part of your post content. So all the blocks except title are considered as your post content in Elementor interface. So when you click on it, so this is what post content is all about. Let's use the unfold widget. I'll just click on unfold. I'll drag it straight under this excerpt. And as I showed you earlier, this content can be made post excerpt. So you can click on post excerpt and you can totally remove this. You can customize this further. Let's also change the text color to so something like that. Now you have an excerpt with a collapsible show hide button. What if you can have the show hide button or the same unfold functionality for your post content, which is how it's actually done. So there are a lot of websites that let users click to show or hide the content. We're precisely going to achieve this. If you look at it the first time, you may think that it's not possible because within the dynamic field, you don't have the post content option, right? There's no way to pull post content into this unfold widget, but that doesn't mean you cannot do it. I'll show you a cool trick, which is actually a feature of Elementor Pro with which you can make post content a collapsible area. So the first thing you need to do is to drag a text editor widget. So we can do one thing. We'll drag post content widget again. It, yeah, it's the same thing that you see down here. I'll remove one of them. So I'll remove this post content widget. I'll delete it. I can do one thing. I can right click on this and save as global. Why am I doing this? You'll get to know. Let's call it post content global. I'm actually doing this because every global widget is associated with a short, short code and that short code can be entered into the unfold widget. What does that mean? Well, that means that your post content will be collapsible with a show hide button. I'll show you how that works. So I just clicked on save. I save this as a global widget and I can remove this. I'll delete this post content as well. It's now highlighted in yellow border. Let me delete that again. Now you need to go back to your templates list, click on save templates. And here you'll find your newly saved global widget. We just need to get the short code of it, which is post content global, this one. And in here, instead of random text, that's the beauty of WordPress. Wherever you can enter text, you can also enter short codes. So I'll remove this dynamic field. I'll remove the text and I'll just simply enter the short code. As you can see, now that becomes my post content and which also becomes collapsible of by all the settings that we set in the unfold widget. Isn't it cool, right? So since we're adding it as a part of post template, Every new post you create will have this design. Isn't it cool? So I'll apply this to all posts. So my title, I remove the excerpt. You can also include your excerpt and apply the same trick. Let's create a new post. I'll go to post. I'll add a new post. Click on add new. So I just composed a post in my Gutenberg interface, totally with the paragraph blocks and all the blocks available. It's this image block. So using the Gutenberg interface, I now compiled my design and let's preview it. I've already published it. So let's preview how that looks like. Since we made this template a part of our post design, every new post we create will have the design that we define in here. So let me preview load. Once my preview loads, you can now see that the post content will have a show hide button. If I click on it, I now see my content completely. If I click on hide, the post content is completely hidden. Again, we've customized the height of the unfold content here. So you can also choose the closed height. You can maybe increase it a bit further and you can do a lot more. So adding collapsible text to your actual post content in WordPress is that easy using Elementor and the Jetrix plugin. Isn't it cool? I personally like having this show height content because that generates user interest. So the user will initially read few lines of your content and then he'll click on show and that generates user interest and also improves the user experience. That's it for now. That's a quick overview of how to use Jetrix along with Elementor Pro and also 
use this neat little global widget feature trick to put content or to make static content dynamic. I'll discuss this technique again and again because I've personally used this technique. That's it. That's how you make your collapsible text area in WordPress using Elementor and Jetrix. I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace.